Okay, so we got a precision turbocharger, very similar to the Garrett, same frame, same size, dimensions, internally they're different, but on the outside, same thing. Okay, now it comes with the oil feed and the drain flange. We're gonna attach those to the turbocharger, very, very simple process. So the surface is gonna have to be clean, attach your bolt through the gasket to the top, real simple. All right, run them down. And this is just hand tight. Basically, you're gonna uh, close the lock washer on the bottom is all you're really gonna do. Simple there. All right, we'll flip it over. You see the drain flange on the bottom there. A little assembly wheel. Same thing here. Assemble the flanges. Get them up and on there. Run them down, get them tight. Now, something I want to point out. Turbo drain flange is not always one piece. These flanges are especially made for us. Normally it's a flange and then you have an AN fitting with a male pipe thread pushes into here and then your AN's on the end. This is one piece, easy installation, seals better, reduce the chance for leaks. Um, another product you perform its advantage. Okay, now something I want to show you here. Turbocharger is really like three pieces. You get a center cartridge, the turbine housing, and a compressor housing. You can loosen, if you loosen this set of bolts here, the turbine housing will rotate. If you loosen these set, of, these set of bolts here, the compressor housing will rotate. So I loosen these here, and then we should be able to rotate the compressor housing. And on our stage one, it pretty much points straight up. But on our stage two, you have to have it loose to install it. So you can see how everything stayed the same and I was just able to rotate it over. So get it where you want it. You can do this in a car too, it's no big deal. I like this because you can kind of see how it's flat. That's good. I'm taking a guess out of here. If you need to move it in the car just a little bit, loosen it back up, move it a little bit, tighten it back up. It's real simple. We'll go through, we'll tighten these back up. Again, they don't have to be too tight. You just tighten them down. Six bolts on the compressor housing. This is a 13 millimeter, or half inch. Two more to go. This guy's pretty much ready to install. Next, we got our turbocharger pipe here. Now, this is a great tip and a really good reason why we're doing this video. We want to, I found it easy. If you want to put the wastegate on the pipe before you put it in the vehicle, that keeps you from, you know, having to go like this. You got your hands above your head and you know, working with these small bolts above your head or in tight places. Get some of this assembled here, and I'm gonna show you the pieces, and then you can slide it in and it's already done, okay? So we're gonna take the wastegate. The wastegate already comes assembled. It has a vent, has a proper spring in it. The air fitting's already on there. You're gonna turn this where you want it, tighten the end, but it's, it's, it's done, okay? There is, a, the seal is in the middle here. That's why the tape's there. So you remove that, okay? Charger sits in the vehicle this way. This goes on the end here. All right. Now, there's two wastegate clamps. One's for the inlet, and the small one's for the outlet. The only one we can put on right now is the inlet. So it's a larger one. Goes on here. That's a V-band style clamp. Meaning the flanges are tapered 
as this goes on here, they sit there, you flip it over to the other side, and as you squeeze them together, you'll feel it use the taper and slide in together. No gasket, there's no leaks. It's really great, great. Well, it's very modern. It's a very modern way to attach turbochargers and fittings. what I'm saying here you get to this point boom you still rotate it but you'll feel this squeeze it into place put your through bolt and your top lock nut here again quality products not going to loosen up doesn't require future maintenance angle this over you can start this just a little bit but you're not going to want to um, you're not you're not going to want to Tighten it because this you got to find the right angle when it when it reaches the downpipe. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Okay, so next step we're going to mount the turbocharger to the up pipe. Okay, we got our stainless steel gasket. I'm going to go on here. Obviously, this is easier if you have somebody else holding this for you. So get a friend, or do it like this. Okay, and of course you got top lock fasteners again for longevity, you don't have to tighten up later, it's not going to leak. Put it on, tighten it, forget it. Okay, all the bolts go in from the top down. Alright, now get somebody to help you hold this. I'm going to here in just a minute. And you're going to rotate this, okay, counterclockwise. You see how much, there's a little bit of play here because of four bolt four circles and the diameter of the bolts gives you a little bit of play. So get it all the way counterclockwise, you can, hold it and then tighten these. All right, let's do it. Okay, I really wanted to show you this. When we remove the factory exhaust, we don't have to remove either one of these bolts. We just remove the two top, the exhaust will tilt out and you pull it out of the vehicle. So I took five minutes, took the engine out so I can show this to you. You also notice that the Exhaust manifold is not like a traditional exhaust manifold on most other vehicles. The exhaust manifold for all the cylinders is already molded into the cylinder head. So when you're ready to install our uh, tubing provided in our system, you're going to want to loosen the bottom bolts a little bit so the bracket's loose. Then you can hang the pipe. The flange is tapered just like the factory. Then you can ha hang the pipe, okay? And it'll sit over there like this. And then it'll tilt up. You can put your bolts in. All right. Put your bolts in, run down with your fingers. And that's it. You want to leave them loose. Don't tighten any of the, of the bolts fully until all of the turbocharger tubing is connected. And the first pipe we're going to install is our extension pipe with a high flow catalytic converter. It has our secondary O2 sensors installed that we transferred from the factory exhaust. So it's going to fit in here like this. But it's going to go back another four inches or so. And this is where our downpipe is going to collect too. This is the first pipe we're going to install. And you, you got to line it up and then get it to fit into the factory exhaust. And twist, push, keep working it nice and easy. And it'll go all the way back in there. All right, another good tip here is uh, on our turbocharger up pipe, we have installed the turbocharger drain hose to it already so that once it's in a vehicle, you don't have to reach up in there and try to tighten it once it's, once it's in the vehicle. So this is the second pipe. The first one was the extension pipe with the catalytic converter. This is the second pipe, contains your turbocharger on, a drop, on the passenger side. So we're just gonna drop this in and we're gonna lay it to the passenger side. We're gonna leave it there not connect anything to it at this time. Here we go.
The third pipe is the down pipe, the three inch down pipe. I'm gonna drop it in here and then we have to swing it over and set it on the two bolts. Before you start, you're gonna to wanna to loosen the second bolt down on the alternator and last bolt on the bracket. Take it all the way out and then thread it back in about two threads. That's what you wanna start with. Let's drop it in. This is the fourth pipe to install. This is the crossover pipe coming from the driver's side cylinder head, wrapping around to the exhaust, on the turbocharger exhaust on the passenger side. Now, we already transferred the O2 sensor. This is the primary O2 sensor for the driver's side. It is the one with the white connector. Be able to put this up from the bottom? Let's do it. Before we put this fourth pipe in, driver's side crossover pipe, Remember we talked about earlier, we want to loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom side. Reach up in there and loosen those guys. Okay. Now we're going to take our crossover pipe, move this to the side, and we're just going to hang it up on the top. Like so. We're on pipe five. It's the final pipe here. Then we'll start connecting them together. But hanging in loosely, we've got to transfer the O2 sensor. The primary O2 sensor from the passenger side is black. So we're transferring that directly from the old factory exhaust into here. Screw it in, very simple. Seven eighths is the size. Okay, now, just like on the, on the other side, Remember, we had to loosen the bottom two tens. So loosen the bottom two tens. Let's get inside there, drop it up, flip it up, two tens on the top. Let's do it. Pipe's ready, O2 sensor's installed. The bottom two tens are loosened. Let's just go straight up. This one's wide open. Rest on the top. And you're good. Put the two tens in, and that's all. So, this is the hanger for the transmission lines, goes through here. Now we use this hole from the top for a bracket to hold the support, the weight of the turbocharger. So to get this out, we found the best way to do is to cut it from the bottom. That'll make it look like this, okay? Then we got back in here, we released the quick tab at the top here. Okay, so this released. Now take this out. Now this is a threaded hole, so we can just grab it and unscrew this piece of plastic. Now this sounds like it's like it's real simple, but if I hadn't shown you that, it just takes a while to get something so simple like this out of that hole. So this is a great method. I uh, hope you use it. Now we're taking a turbocharger pipe and attaching it to the other pipes that are already uh, assembled loosely onto the engine. Now it's got a couple points. The one is the bracket that goes to the engine block. The two openings in the rear where the, both of the exhausts come out of the engine in route two. On top, the V-band, three inch exhaust exit and the wastegate down below it. So what we did was we fitted it up, we set it on top of the bracket while lining up the two rears. It takes two people, you got to hold the top and someone's have to get to the bottom. Okay, we just got it sitting on top there. We started our bolt on the bracket, the other two are, are lined up on the other two ball flanges in the rear, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my three inch V-band clamp, put it around here, and just start it. Not tighten it, just start it. Then I'm gonna move on to my wastegate flange, finagle that down there, put this over here, squeeze it together, not tighten anything until I have everything with bolts in it, flanges started. Everything we've done so far I think has been very straightforward. This is the most difficult part, I think, of the whole installation. You're going to have to have patience. You're going to have to think, don't muscle, bang, beat. It all fits. It's all made in the same jig. They all fit. Move it over. Move it. Loosen one. Get them to go. Work at it together with a partner. 
10, 15 minutes, you got this pipe on, and that's really the most difficult part of the whole installation. Okay, we just finished installing the turbocharger pipe that holds the turbocharger on the passenger side. We just got that on. Uh, like I mentioned before, it is the most difficult part. You do have to have some finesse, have somebody down there, hold, get it lined up. Now the order I recommend in getting that attached was the wastegate to the downpipe first, then come up to the V-band clamp, the three inch V-band clamp at the turbocharger. And when I say get them attached, you're just gonna get the clamp on, to get the clamps on together. Don't tighten them up, just get the clamps on. Then move over to the back two on the passenger side, the ball valves there, get those bolts in there, four bolts, two flanges, get those in there, and then uh, the sequence of tightening up. We started with our waste gates, we got that fully tightened, we tightened our V-band clamp, got that fully tightened, the bracket attaching to the alternator and the alternator bracket down the front, the two 13 millimeters, we got both of those tightened. Move along to the driver's side, we, attached, we tightened all four bolts at the cylinder head, all four bolts on the passenger side at the cylinder head, the two ball valve uh, joints at the turbo pipe and the Y in the back there, um, four bolts total there. Moved over to the extension pipe with the Kelly converter, ball valve, and lastly the 15 millimeter on the exhaust. Um, once you get it all tightened up, you know, it's kind of all downhill hill from there. It's, it's really, re really ready to go.